year, going door to door, holding tight to that big bag of candy. But for those who have allergies or even diabetes, well, it could be tricky. Eyewitness News reporter Jen Seelig shows us how you can be prepared for every spooky little visitor. Halloween is a great time to make sure your children feel included and special when they're dressed up to go door to door and say trick or treat. There's a lot of kids nowadays that have um, issues with different foods. Food allergies are really common. One in 13 kids have food allergies. And some kids might have other things that you don't know about, like diabetes or celiac disease. So I think if parents can make Halloween be about things other than candy all the time, that it's going to help all the kids. Dr. Rio says peanuts, eggs, and milk are the most common food allergies that children have. Especially peanuts. And kids with peanut allergies can have a really serious allergy where if they ate a peanut, they could, they could die. So it's not a joke. It's not something that people are making up about their kids. This is something that's really serious. The National Teal Pumpkin Project makes trick-or-treating a bit easier for children who have allergies and a little less stressful for their parents. And that means you put a teal pumpkin on your porch and people know that you have um, non-food items or items that are definitely safe for kids with allergies. But what about children who have diabetes? Um, there's other ways that you can kind of take the focus off candy. For parents who have children that have food allergies, diabetes, or celiac disease, maybe you should ignore that chocolate and sugar and opt to giving them coins or small toys like bubbles or stickers. Parties, school parties, you can take the focus off candy. You can do costume contests, uh, pumpkin carving, other crafts. There's other things to do than just candy. In New Hartford, Jen Seelig, Eyewitness News. Up next here tonight on Eyewitness News at 6, the Comets get set to face off against the Checkers right at the odds.